the latest twist in India's telecom game of phones. An SOS letter written by Kumar Mangalam Birla, chairman of the cash-strapped Vodafone idea to the government. A letter which lays bare the underlying crisis in India's telecom sector, once made up of dozens of players, now battling to stop turning into a two-horse race. In it, Mr. Birla says he's willing to transfer his group's entire stake in Vodafone Idea, India's third largest telecom operator, to the government. The letter to Cabinet Secretary Rajiv Gauba was written in June and has only now emerged in the public domain and says, despite all his efforts, the financials of Vodafone Idea have sharply deteriorated. Foreign investors are hesitating in making investments. Investors unwilling to put money without clarity. Investors want to see a clear government intent on a three-player market. Without support, Voda Idea is heading to an irretrievable point of collapse. He says, I'm more than willing to hand over my stake in the company to any government entity that can keep the company as a going concern. What is it according to the letter that investors want clarity on from the government? First, clarity on what are called payouts to the government, the adjusted gross revenue or the AGR question. Also, adequate moratorium on spectrum payments and a floor price for telecom. Vodafone has since lost an estimated 2,700 crores in market value. Now, the context to all this is this. India's once booming market is now just down to three private players, Geo, Airtel and Vodafone. The factors are many, too many to list here, but in effect, huge debt, what they believe are overpriced fees for license and spectrum, and the entry of Geo with its aggressive pricing and expansion. Just look at these numbers to show you Geo's rapid rise as a new entrant. It's got currently the highest subscriber base according to Statista figures of 41 crore subscribers, Airtel next with 34 crores, Vodafone idea has slipped to 28 crores and the two state-run telecom agencies are now at fourth place with about 13 crores. A crucial tipping point came in 2019 when the government won a court battle to get telecom players to play close to 1.7 lakh crores in overdue fees and penalties in which Vodafone was the worst hit when it comes to these AGR or gross revenue estimates. As per the Supreme Court order, the dues Vodafone idea, rupees 58,000 crores, of which they've paid about 8,000 crores. Bharti Airtel, 44,000 crores. They've already paid close to 18,000 crores, almost half. The Tatas, about 17,000 crores, paid about 4,200 crores. And Jio, the least hit, with just about a 71 crore payout. All of this has aggravated Vodafone's crisis. Just look at the overall profit versus loss chart now. Vodafone from 2016-17 from a loss of 400 crores is 74,000 crore loss. Bharti Airtel from a profit of 4,200 crores is down to a 31,000 crore loss. Jio actually is the only profitable company which is now from minus 34 crores to 5,600 crores plus. Vodafone idea, of course, merged in 2018, so some figures may not be comparable.